Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have endured to apply their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, no matter stepping down as senior royals in 2020. Prince Harry says Diana could be heartbroken over his dating with William. The Duke of Sussex dodged questions on renouncing his royal identity throughout his latest interview with Anderson Cooper. Ahead of the release of his next book Spare, Prince Harry sat down with journalist Anderson Cooper on Sunday, January 8, for an episode of CBS Apostrophe 60 Minutes. The 38-year-old royal mentioned some of the surprising revelations written in his memoir, which hits cabinets this Tuesday. However, Cooper shared a number of the criticisms Harry's acquired because he and his wife, Meghan Markle, stepped down from their roles as senior royals in 2020. He talked about how the Sussexes gave a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey quickly after moving to North America and inked a deal with Netflix that was really worth the mentioned $100 million. After noting how critics say the Duke and Duchess are benefiting from their royal titles while they nonetheless can, Cooper requested Prince Harry. Why now no longer resign your titles as Duke and Duchess? Harry replied. And what distinction could that make? One of the criticisms that you've acquired is that, okay, fine, you need to transport to California, you need to step again out of the institutional role. Why be so public? Why screen conversations you've had together with your father or your brother? You say you attempted to try this privately, the 60 Minutes correspondent said. And each unmarried time I've attempted to do it privately, there had been briefings and leakings and planting of tales in opposition to me and my wife, Harry responded. You know, the own circle of relatives motto is in no way complain, in no way explain. But it's only a motto. And it doesn't truly preserve. Despite stepping again outside the royal family's circle of relatives in 2020, the couple has endured to apply the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, which they acquired from Queen Elizabeth II on their wedding ceremony day in 2018. Since then, there's been an awful lot of public outcry for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to drop their royal titles, in addition to hypotheses over the titles their youngsters Archie, three, and Lilibet, one will inherit. A recent YouGov survey, which was performed in December 2022, determined that almost half of the British public believed Prince Harry had to have his identity eliminated following his and Meghan Markle's Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan. Speaking to Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, Meghan discovered that their eldest son Archie had now no longer acquired a royal identity while he was born in 2019. They have been announcing they didn't need him Archie to be a prince or princess, which could be distinct from protocol, and that he wasn't going to acquire security, she explained. This went on for the previous few months of our being pregnant, during which I turned into going, hold on for a second. Following the demise of Queen Elizabeth II in September 2022, Harry and Meghan's youngsters inherited the right to be a HRH, his or her royal highness, with Archie as a prince and Lilibet as a princess. However, Archie and Lilibet's royal titles haven't begun to be up to date on the royal family's website. The Sussexes additionally stopped using their HRH designations after they stepped down from royal duties. Now, it's been mentioned that King Charles will wait for Prince Harry's memoir to be launched before. He makes a decision about whether or not the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's youngsters will inherit titles. Prince Harry has made many claims about forthcoming memoir. In an excerpt of the book, which turned out to be leaked in advance of its e-book date, Harry writes that King Charles requested him and William no longer make my very last years a misery at Prince Philip's funeral in March 2021. Please boys, Harry rates Charles as saying after the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral at Windsor Castle, don't make my very last years a misery. During his ITV interview with Tom Bradby on Sunday evening, Prince Harry mentioned his most important criticisms of his father surrounding intimacy and conversation problems. He'd continually given an air of now no longer being pretty gearing up for parenthood. The responsibilities, the patience, the time, Harry said. Even he, though a proud man, could have admitted an awful lot but unmarried parenthood pa turned out to be in no way made for that. To be fair, he attempted. Meanwhile, Prince Harry described an altercation he had with Prince William at Nottingham Cottage in 2019, wherein the Prince of Wales allegedly grabbed Harry through the collar, ripped his necklace off, and knocked him to the ground. Thank you for watching till the end, please share with us your thoughts in the comments.